Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to today's Morning Report Analysis video on Monday the 10th of April with me, which is Market Analyst at Hantech Market. The European session has got off to, well, it was sort of fairly flat early doors, but it's now actually sort of started to fall away slightly. Um, a, sort of, a little bit of that sort of positivity that we got um, from the uh, rebound in Treasury yields and also the dollar um, into the close on Friday, just starting to sort of e e eke out again. Um, We've got gold that's basically flat all day. Um, gold unwound, um, almost 20 bucks from the uh, level of 12.70 that it hit uh, early Friday morning um, on the back of that um, US or US airstrike on the Syrian air, um, air base. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's just a little bit of positivity that's just been draining out of the market today. Now, we have got a fairly sort of flat outlook on um, on your forex markets Here you can see the dollar for example that is uh, had that strong gain uh, on Friday after non farm payrolls um, big sort of choppy move on payrolls because it was a mixed report markets didn't really initially know how to take it but certainly I don't think that um, the payrolls report changes anything really um, I think the uh, number on Friday is going to be upwardly revised probably um, and also it has the fact that uh, the rest of the report, apart from the headline, was pretty solid. So ultimately, the dollar strengthened on the back of that. Um, but Treasury yields also um, rebounding sharply. Initially, the 10-year had broken down below that 2.3% level. That rebounded sharply, and also the two-year sort of back up towards that 1.304 level, which uh, has been such um, a sort of pivotal level recently. So um, really is. Um, just uh, fairly stable on the forex um, markets at the moment. A uh, bit of outperformance for the uh, for the dollar. A uh, little bit of underperformance for the yen. That generally sort of points towards a fairly positive risk appetite. But as I said, equities are just starting to fall away a touch uh, as we sort of start to develop today. Now there isn't really any economic data to really think about today. The uh, the calendar is fairly bare go to it the calendar is fairly bare on that front so nothing really doing that can change the outlook perhaps uh, the US coming in this afternoon will have an impact but uh, certainly in front of that we're fairly much sort of um, risk neutral on the forex markets but uh, negative on the um, equities fix starting to climb again so that uh, generally tends to sort of go hand in hand with an equity market correction so um, it'll be interesting to see how the US comes in today now what we have got is my chance today which is the Kiwi dollar now Kiwi has been under pressure look at this downtrend in the past two months consistent downtrend pulling towards that old sort of pivot level around about 69 figure it's a big pivot level and that would be sort of back towards the lows of what has become a bit of a trading range in the past nine months. And um, I think that's where we're, where we're heading to, really. Having broken down below, you had a support at 69.90, a couple of lows. And then since breaking down below that on a closing basis last week, early last week, that's become a basis of resistance on the upside, 69.90. So I think rallies are a chance to sell. You've got this downtrend in place. You've got the momentum indicators which are rolling over, but also having further downside potential with the RSI at 38 um, MACD lines only just crossing lower so I think this is um, still there's still some legs to run in this one I think we're going to get a sort of retest of this support band that comes in 69 figure was that long term pivot but uh, 68 60 was the low in December 68 90 area was the low in March and I think the likelihood is that we're going to get to see those levels tested you can see this hourly chart sort of negatively configured across uh, the momentum indicators, 60 tends to limit the RSI, MACD lines tend to fail around neutral, this is basically just unwinding this, you've got um, resistance that comes in around about that 69.60 level, a bit of uh, old support becomes new resistance, so anything around that 69.60 level I think would be considered to be a chance to sell if you get it but certainly I think at the moment this is just a little unwinding move uh, that we've got today this morning and uh, I think that will be likely to peter out and it subsequently be sold off once more so with that in mind I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later thank you